Hello everyone, my name is Esne Kato and today we are going to learn how to use lists and its methods in Python. Lists are like boxes that contain different slots and we use square brackets to tell when the list starts and when does it ends. To know how many items your list has, you can use the len function. Here we have an example of a list of my friends that are Shrek, Jojo and Bojack. And we are going to use the len function to know how many items my list has, meaning how many friends do I have. To check if a specific friend is in my list, I can use in. Let's check if Shrek is in my friends list. So I just type Shrek in friends and print that statement. After running the program, Python will return a true. Now let's try with a different example. Is Goku in friends? We run the program and Python returns us a false. And it is going to do the same as before. The Python is going to go to our friends list and check one item by one item. Is Goku equals to Shrek? No. Is Goku equals to Jojo? No. Is Goku equals to Bojack? No. And after checking all of these items inside my friends list, Python is going to say Goku is not inside this list, so Goku is not your friend. That's why I'm going to return a false. Remember that I told you that lists are like boxes? Well, you can also get each element by providing their location with help of their index. Let's check an example. If I put the name of the list follow by brackets and then the index number that I'm looking for, I'm going to get the name of that item. For example, friends, square bracket zero is going to return Shrek. A cool thing about indexes is that it doesn't only take one argument. You can tell it when you want the index to start and when do you want it to end. And if indexes sound a little bit too complicated for you, let me know in the comments if you want me to make a special video just about indexes. But let's continue. Here I'm going to tell Python to look for all of the items, the name of all of the items that start from the index number one up to the end of the list. When you leave it empty, it says to the end of the list. So we are going to get back Jojo and Bojack. So what happens if I just leave the first argument empty? Well, what you're telling Python here is to start from the very beginning of the list. And if you put a uh, two points followed by a second argument, for example, this one, that it's one, you are telling to Python that you want to start from the very beginning of the list up to, but not including, index number one. So a tip that I could tell you about how to use indexes is to do it this way. In the first argument, just put the index where you want to start. And in the second argument, just think about it as the index minus one. So my list would go from the very beginning up to one minus one is zero. One good thing about lists is that you can add, subtract or change elements in it. So if I feel that I don't have enough friends, I can expand my list by adding some more using the append method. By using the method append, it will always add a new item to the end of the list. For example, we just write friends that append and inside our parentheses, we write the name of our new friend. In my list, I think of it as a ranking system, starting from zero, being the best of the best. Currently, Shrek is my best friend, but not long ago I met my soulmate, meaning that he is in a higher rank than Shrek. So how can I put my new soulmate at the very beginning of the list? 
To do this, I'm going to use the insert method. To insert my new best friend inside this list, I'm going to do it this way. Friends that insert, open parenthesis, zero, because I want to put my soulmate in the index number zero, followed by the name of my soulmate, that is Vector. Also, I started talking again with a friend from my childhood. She's close to me, but not really that close. So let's put her in the middle of my list. To do this, we are going to write friends that insert open parenthesis and write tree followed by summer. Let's say that Vector stole my cat and sold it to Tesla. Because of this nasty action, I decided to cut him off my life with help of the remove method. I write friends that remove and then picture. Also, Spider-Man now wants me to call him in a different way. And in order to do this, we are going to change an element in our list. I'm going to write the name of my list that is friends, followed by square brackets and the index where Spider-Man is, that it's for. And I'm going to write equals the new name, that it's going to be Peter. And after we run this code, we're going to see that instead of Spider-Man, now he is Peter. And now tell me, how would you use lists in your code? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please press the like button and share it with your friends. If you would like to support me, you can do it so by buying me a coffee in streamlabs.com slash See you in the next video. Bye.